And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Ingenious Invention. Squeak the puppet and Scratch the caveman were ready to try their latest invention. The world's first and only snow machine. Yes, with this ingenious homemade contraption, the two inventors hoped to make it actually snow on tropical Zero Zero Island. Colonel Bleep chuckled silently as he watched his friends proudly prepare for the initial test of their marvelous new machine. While Scratch pumped with all his might, Little Squeak crossed his fingers for luck and pushed the magic button. The machine worked fine, except instead of snow, down came a cloud of thick black smoke. The inventors agreed a few small changes would be required to make it snow. Bleep was sorry he couldn't wait to see the results of their second try, but it was already blast-off time for his morning space patrol. And so, wishing his friends good luck, the spaceman sped off on his tour of duty. But only moments later, high above the Earth, the colonel screeched to a halt to listen to a strange space signal. There it was again. Three short blips, three long bleeps, and three more blips. This was an urgent SOS. Someone nearby was calling for help. But where was it coming from? And who could it be? Then Bleep spotted the ball-like object racing through space at tremendous speed. This was another test satellite from the planet Earth. And someone or something was calling for help from inside this man-made moon. Meanwhile, back on Zero Zero Island, Squeak and Scratch continued to test their homemade snow machine. Down came a thundering torrent of rain. Then, a shower of giant hailstones. But no snow. Still, the puppet and caveman would not give up. And in desperation, Scratch tossed a box of soap flakes into the contraption. For after all, to a caveman, soap flakes and snowflakes sound and look very much alike. Now when Scratch pumped the handle and Squeak pushed the button, nothing came out at all except hundreds of giant bubbles which drifted up through the dome of their island home. At about the same time, Colonel Bleep sprang open the hatch of the Earth satellite. And to his surprise, out popped a dozen puppy dogs and a dozen kittens. These were the frightened passengers who signaled for help. For unless Bleep could save them, they were doomed to spend the rest of their lives speeding through space. But how could the spaceman possibly get so many dogs and cats safely back to Earth? Then Bleep saw them. Dozens of beautiful floating bubbles from the snow machine. Here was a chance not only to save the animals, but to play a wonderful trick on the great inventors. Quickly, the spaceman popped the dogs and cats into the huge bubbles, which, like Bleep's own space helmet, would protect them on the journey back to Earth. And so it was that Squeak and Scratch were amazed to see the bubbles floating back to Zero Zero Island. Each 
carrying a tiny pup or kitten inside. Yes, this was a great day for the inventor. For although the snow machine did not make it snow, it did make it rain cats and dogs.